Hey Dibs, got a problem. During a routine visual analysis, black particles were found in a batch. I thought that was strange, that's why I'm calling. Okay, we'll start our investigation and let you know. Okay, we got unknown particles in a batch. Zena, DeFazio, recheck the story from Andy and Manufacturing. Got, got it. it. Allie, get on those lab tests. Okay. You know we're investigating this particular batch that seems to have contained some small black particles? Run me through the in-process checks and tell me what happened, will you? We were running a batch when we noticed some black particles in the intermediate products. We have five in-process checks. During the last check, the technician noticed some black particles. She knew to notify me right away. The process was almost complete, so we sent a sample over to the lab. Has the intermediate product passed through anything that would allow it to pick up black particles like that? The product passes through pumps and equipment that is stainless steel, but all the equipment connects through different types of gaskets. Okay, what do you got? Boss, they seem to do everything right in manufacturing. They followed their procedures while using the proper equipment. I think the answer is going to be in the lab. Hello? Okay, I'll, I'll be right there. I think you're onto something. Allie, what do you got? Has the product passed through anything that would allow it to pick up black particles? Yes, actually many areas or sections of the processing line. You know, they seal the equipment at every connection with these gaskets, and most of the gaskets are ethylene propylene diene monomer. English, Al. EPDM. It's black synthetic rubber. Oh, I see where this is going. Right. The black particles are getting caught up in the filter membranes. Manufacturing sent over a filter and a typical gasket, and I ran all the usual tests, including a Fournier transform infrared spectroscopy test. FTIR analysis. Yeah, I got it. I used the gasket for a control and used the spectra from the black particles to compare to the gasket material. Did you know that they use this stuff in waterproofing roofs and in garden hoses and vehicles and to make toys? Allie, get to the point. Oh, it matches. Tafazio, get over to 